I already discussed four subjects from GATE Computer Science, TOC, Compiler, Algorithm and Data Structure. It's full lectures with previous year question. Next I will discuss Engineering Mathematics. Engineering Mathematics again divided into four sections, Discrete Mathematics, Linear Algebra, Calculus and Probability and Statistics. I will start with Discrete Mathematics. Discrete Mathematics again I am dividing into four chapter. Chapter 1 Logic. Here I will discuss propositional logic, propositional equivalence, predicates and quantifier. Nested quantifier, rule of inference, introduction to proof. Chapter 2 is set theory, chapter 3 about graph theory, chapter 4 is about combinatorics. For chapter 1 mathematical logic, I will follow Rosen's book and my notes. Let's start with logic. Logic is the basic block of mathematical reasoning. It has various applications to computer science. We use logic for computer circuits, construction of computer program, for verifying whether a program is correct or not, for computing machine, for artificial intelligence. In computer science, we use logic in different way. And basics of logic is proposition. What is proposition? It is a declarative sentence that declares some fact. It can be either true or false but not both. Let's see some example. There are three statements. Statement 1. Chicago is one of the largest city in the US. Next 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Next 2 plus 2 equals to 3. All three are proposition. While 1 and 2 are true and 3 is false. 2 plus 2 equals to 4 but here it's written 3. This is false but still it's a proposition. It can be either true or false but it should not be both. So first statement is true, second one is true, third one is false but all are proposition. Let's see some more example. First what time is it? It's not a fact. It's a question. It's not proposition. Then second, read this carefully. It's order. It's not a fact. This is not a proposition. Then third, x plus 1 equals to 2. We don't know what is the x value. x can be 1, x can be 2, x can be 3, x can be anything. When x value equals to 1, it is true. When x value equals to 2, it's false. So it's depend on x value. For proposition, it should be either true or false. We cannot say true or false as true or false depends on x. Next fourth one x plus y equals to z. Here also we used variable as variable are present so this is not a proposition. So sentence 1 and 2 are not proposition as they are not declarative and sentence 3 and 4 are not proposition as they are using variable. So they are neither true nor false. But we can convert sentence 3 and 4 to proposition by putting some value in place of variable. We can denote some letters for proposition. These are called propositional variable or statement variable like P, Q, R, S. You can take any alphabet and we can assign some truth value like true or false. If the proposition is true, we can assign true and if the proposition is false, we can assign false. Propositional logic or propositional calculus deals with the proposition and we can combine one or more proposition to form another proposition that's called as compound proposition. We can combine by using logical operators to make one new proposition. And suppose one proposition cannot be divided into further that is a atomic proposition or we can say single proposition we cannot divide. And if a proposition can divide further, that is a compound proposition. We can use the logical operator to combine one or more proposition. So let's discuss some logical operator. First logical operator is negation. Let P be a proposition. The negation of P denoted by negation P also P complement. Is the statement, it is not the case that P the proposition negation P also read as not P. The truth value of negation P is negation P. It's opposite of P. If P value is true, then it will be false. If P value is false, it will be true. It's just opposite of P. Let's see one example. If P equals to it is raining today, 
the negation p will be it is not raining today or we can say it is not the case that it is raining today we can just put not in this sentence that will be negation p negation is not a connective we can add negation to single proposition there are some more logical operator that combine two or more existing proposition to form a new compound proposition that's called as connective now truth table of negation for p value true negation p will be false for p value false negation p will be true in next lecture i will discuss about connectives like and and or if today lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you